What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. And please let your followers and listeners know that I'm a real truck driver. Ain't nothing over here fake. You guys remember that video from last year, man? The TikToker that had the ankle bracelet on her leg? Everybody thought that it was some type of monitoring system? Well, we have a special guest today. The Real Cash Barbie is up in the building today to clarify everything you want to know about the bracelet. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Right, let's get into it. The real cash Barbie in the building. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> all right, so uh, be before we get started, um, I know we tried to get in, uh, get into contact with each other last year. Um, I just want to say my condolences to you uh, for your loss and everything. And, um, thank you. And, um, and yeah, I, I just want to, you know, give, you know, give that before we get started. Um, all right, Cash, go ahead and, uh, introduce yourself, you know, say your name, uh, you know, your status in trucking and where are you from? Um, well, my name is Cash Barbie. I go by Cash Barbie, but my name is Veronica. Um, I'm born and raised in Jersey, but I live in Tennessee right now. And I'm currently not on the road as a truck driver. I'm at home taking care of some family stuff. All right. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So we just going to look, we, we just going to go ahead and skip the particulars yeah. and just jump right into it, man. Like, so there was a controversial video that, that you mm -hmm. put out on TikTok last year. And uh, of course, yeah. everybody in the comments, kind of, you know, kind of had these strong opinions on it. Of course, you know, we here on the Recruiter Call channel, we, we reacted to it. Uh, at that at that time, we tried to, you know, get, you know, get into contact with each other back then. But unfortunately, you was going through some, you know, family situations then. Uh, so, yeah. thank, so thank you uh, for coming out and, uh, and to put it all to rest about uh, what's going on. So I'm just going to say for yeah, my... I literally seen the video. I seen the video for the first time last night. All right. So I'm going to put it on my standpoint. All right. So I never seen anything like that. I never heard of anything like that. I never seen anything like that. And, and when, you know, when you put it out there and for you guys, what we talking about, she, she made a TikTok video and she had an ankle bracelet on. And a lot of us, including myself, you know, we 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 kind of said that it was, you know, like a a a, a home monitoring, like, you know, you, you know, mm -hmm. like a, a monitoring bracelet. So, but when you came back and said what it was, that's where the controversy came into play. And I'm like, wait. So you said that it was a, if I can remember, it was a alcohol. alcohol monitoring bracelet. Yeah. All right. So what? What's up, Cash? What? What is? Okay. So what let is me go ahead, and go ahead. Go ahead. Let me go ahead and explain the whole entire situation. So mm -hmm. I was working for Sweet Express out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. They're, they're a second chance company in a sense um, as far as failed drug tests or anything that has to do with the clearinghouse. You know what I'm saying? Like if you failed a drug test, you got anything negative on your, on your, your they'll put you through a program. It's called the SAT program where you have to go through AA meetings. You got to go through um, drug and alcohol, drug meetings and all this other stuff, counseling, and all this other crap. So this particular instance, I was in my truck one night getting drunk. 
the night before, that morning of, about 8 o'clock that morning, I stopped drinking around 3 that morning. They called me in at like 8, 8.30 that morning for a random. I passed my drug, you know, I passed the drug thing, but I blew a point four four, point zero four four to be exact. So wow. that means that I still had alcohol in my system, but I had bobtailed to where I needed to take my drug test at. So where I had to take my drug test, I blew a point zero four four, so I couldn't drive my truck back to the yard. Okay, so let me let me let me hold you up right there. You, I, I, so it's safe to say that you was drunk. Um, no, I wasn't drunk. I just still had alcohol in my system. Oh, uh, okay. The only reason why I had to put that, the only reason why I put them, um, the ankle monitor, the only reason why I agreed to put the ankle monitor and bracelet on was so that I was able to still drive. Okay. If I would have just been like, no, I don't, I don't want to drive a truck no more. I wouldn't have to wear it. Okay, but I'm still stuck on the part where you, where you blew a, a point. You say a point zero four four, or a point yes, zero. Yes, I blew a point zero four four. But I'm a drinker. You know what I'm saying? Drinking right. is not nothing new to me. So I'm assuming like if I go to, to to sleep drunk and I wake up in a couple hours, I'll be straight. So to me, I was good. My body just still had alcohol in it. That's nothing I can control. Oh. I wasn't drunk. Because if I was drunk, they wouldn't have even allowed me to bobtail there. All right. So you you bobtail to the to the clinic. You 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 yes. Two you, minutes from my two minutes from my yard. You you blew the you you blew positive because I yep. I think I said something about negative, but you you blew positive. And yep. okay, so when you blew the positive and you had to let your you had to let your company know. What was they the conversation the, the clinic, between the you? Let the company know. Right. The clinic let the company know. My company called me. They let me know that there was going to be someone there to come pick me up, my truck, and my dog. They came and picked me up, got back to the to the yard. I sat down in the room with all the big guys, and they explained to me how I was a good worker, so they was willing to put me through the program. Now, when they put me through the program, I was off the road for two months, no driving at all in the hotel room going through the program. I had to go to counseling every day, AA meetings every day, drug meetings every day. Then I had to, I had to blow positive. I had to blow negative in order to get back on the road. But even then with me blowing negative, I was still on a 12 month probation period. So okay. that's where the ankle monitor and bracelet came from. Okay. okay. So they didn't terminate you. Like, I mean, you know, when people uh, like, the people who like I talk to in the past and when I do my randoms and stuff like that, like we're done. Like that's, that's it. We're, we're out of here. So you, you saying that the company actually said, okay, no problem. You was a good worker. Let's, let's go ahead and continue working with you, even though you blew a positive and, and are, is this before the F, uh, FMCSA clearinghouse or afterwards? No, this is afterwards. It's on my clearinghouse. So now. it's on you your on my clearinghouse. So it's on your clearinghouse. So it's yeah. on your so it's on your clearinghouse. And it's it's and the company knew and they and you saying the company still said, Oh, okay, yes. no no problem. They gave you they, they still gave you the Okay, so when I initially first got that was my second offense with the company. My first offense with the company is when I went there for orientation, they found out that I had a negative I had a um a positive drug test from a year ago on my on my record that no one knew about. So they put me through the program when I first got there. I went through the program for marijuana. Six months later, I went back through the had to go back through the program again for alcohol. Okay, wait. So did you? So when you went to the orientation and you 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 went for the the drug test and you they they was that before or they or they just found out how how did they find out that you no, you know? God damn, Jimmy, this some serious going made shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze dried tasty's choice, right? <laughs> and he springs this serious going made shit on us. What flavor is this? I I passed, I passed my drug test and my alcohol test for them. Okay. But when I asked for our clearinghouse information, that's what popped up on mine. They put me into a separate room and let me know that. And then they gave me my option. My option was either to find another company to go with or go through the SAP program, which they paid for. 
and I just paid them back when I work when I started working. Okay, so they gave so they so they said, well, hey, you're you was already in a in the FMCSA, and now we'll give you a would would they saying that we'll give you another opportunity? All right, uh-huh. so you you got the opportunity, cash. You you got the opportunity. Why did you? Why did you? What's? Why did you mess up that opportunity I mean, by drinking? Like it, it's not like, but it's not. I'm a truck driver. It's, we can't smoke weed. I'm gonna drink when I got some off time. That's just what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? But of course, I didn't un- intentionally go in there thinking that I was going to blow positive. I went in there with the mindset that I was good. Okay. Okay. All right. So now you're with the big wigs. You you you're with safety. They they got you in the room again. They over here looking at you yep. like, look, lady, you we we gave you the second chance. Now you did this. Where where was the idea of the ankle monitor come into play? And explain that first that before I from, ask the other question. The ankle monitor was also an option. The option that they gave me was I can not go across state lines and just strictly deliver all around Michigan and have to check in every week. I go into a, go into the clinic and blow, make sure there's no alcohol in my system every week. Or I can put the bracelet on and be able to travel out of state. I decided that I wanted to travel out of state because I wasn't going to make no money in state. I don't, that's not how I get down. I like to travel. So I decided, I, I agreed to put the ankle monitor on so that I can go outside of state lines. Okay. But well, it was still not, but it's still just, it only, um, Detected any alcohol in my system, hand sanitizer, too strong perfumes, things like that. Strictly alcohol. Okay. I can oh. go anywhere I want to as long as I wasn't drinking. Okay. So or now, the alcohol. now here's the now here's the other problem that I was confused at. Like I never heard of a alcohol ankle monitor. Like how do the ankle monitor yeah. monitors your alcohol your alcohol intake on your ankle? Through your sweat. Okay, okay. That that makes sense. That that makes sense. All right. Yeah. So all you right. Know, skin contact, all right, that that makes sense. All right. So now all right, so now you're you 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 woof the alcohol monitor. Um, you, you're driving with the company. I, you know, I, I do a lot of phone calls to, uh, to, you know, to recruiters and stuff like that. You know, we're the recruiter call channel. Mm -hmm. We, we help drivers, um, you know, what their decisions on what companies that they might want to drive with by listening to the conversations that we do with these, uh, recruiters. One of the question, uh, one of the question was, uh, you know, are they a second chance company? And if so, uh, what do the drivers have to do to, you know, go through the program? Uh, I, I asked about the ankle monitor, uh, option and the recruiter at the time said that they didn't do nothing like that. What what would you say to uh, mind you? Okay, those type of decisions don't come from the company. They don't come from the trucking company. They come from clearinghouse, FCM, whatever, whoever, whatever name that is. They come from the people who work from them. They don't come from the company. So whatever they say, the company just has to comply with. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So of course you, of course you now driving with the ankle monitor. And everything. How how long uh, how long did you have to drive with the ankle monitor, and how long did you last with the company with it? Um, I had to drive with the ankle monitor for at least um twelve months. I had the ankle monitor on for seven. I was with the company for almost a year. All right. And I quit. Well, I didn't quit the company, but I, I left the company in March when I came home. All right, that was March. That was March of last year, right? Yeah. All right. So are I you? I got with the company. In, are in, you in June of last year? January, February, March, May, June, June. Yeah, June. 
So are you still, do you still have the ankle monitor on? Do you still got to no. wear it? No, absolutely not. I took it off. I took it back to Michigan a week after I came to, after I came home and um, re- figured out that I wasn't getting back on the road as soon as possible. So that's when I called my SAP counselor, told him the situation, and he let me know as long as I wasn't in the 18-wheeler, I do not have to wear the ankle monitor and bracelet. All right, so you still, so you're still, if you do get back into a truck, then you will have to wear the ankle monitor, but you will have to get with a company that will allow it. Am I, am I safe to yes. say that? Not as far as allow the ankle monitor and bracelet, but allow that a company that accepts SAP drivers. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. Okay. That's, that's well, that's well put because thank you <laughs> because I'm like, yeah. I'm like, bro, like, you know, ankle monitor, alcohol companies over here, you know, giving drivers, you know, second chance and they supposed to like, that's supposed to be like a done deal, you know, even after blowing the old point four that you blew and they, you know, they still gave you an opportunity. Uh, was it was it by choice to to leave them or or they kind of like helped you uh, along along the way? It was a mutual. It was kind of like a mutual thing. They wanted to know how soon that I would be back to work, and I told them I didn't know because I have it's way, my whole situation is at home is way more complicated than people think. So it was hard for me to explain it to them, and it was hard for them to understand. So we just came to a mutual agreement. If I decided to get back out there, I'll call y'all and hopefully y'all hire me again. If not, there's other companies that's reaching out to me right now. So do you think you do you think you got a good standing with uh with 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 Sweet Express? Yeah, everybody there loves me. I'm okay. they they gave me a job. I was working inside the terminal and everything. They offered me a job inside the terminal. They didn't even want me to drive no more. I was like, nope. I like driving. That's just what I like to do. So they switched me back to a driver. All right, all right, Cash Barbie. That's what's up, man. Well, hey, awesome conversation, man. Thank you very much for clearing that up for mm-hmm. us and everything. Yeah, I'm glad I was there. No, 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 no doubt. I, I appreciate you coming on because like I said, it it, it was it's it was a topic, uh a situational topic at that time because you know if if you go back to your comment session. I'm not sure if you still got the video up, but um, yeah. if you go back to your comment session, you you know you had a whole lot of backlash uh, pertaining. Yeah, to that. and see, I tried at one point. I tried to sit there and go through every comment and, and comment back to everybody, but I feel like it was pointless because if I comment back to one person, I'm gonna have to comment back to all of them. It's too many comments for that. But my thing is, is just do your research. Like, if you don't know something, figure it. Like, look it up. You know what I'm saying? It's 20, it was 2022 when that went down. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of things have evolved. And a lot of the people who was trying to tell me that I was lying about certain things were older drivers. I know you're an older driver. You've been out here for a long, long time. But things have changed. Things have changed. Some things might be a little different than they was 10 years ago or five years ago. And I can't help that. It's just what it is. All right, now I when did, I seen the video last night, it just I was just like, okay, yeah, no, these folks is really trying to make me seem like I'm lying about a damn ankle monitor. What is going on? <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm going to stay. Of course, you know I I stand on what I said and what I you you did mention at one point in the video, um, some you know you was explaining. And, you know, you was getting frustrated and, and mad. That's And that was all well and fine. I understand, especially when you got a gang of people in the comments that's just, you know, just going off with their, with their opinions and everything. But uh-huh. I said that if you didn't want to smoke, you shouldn't have put it out there. Why did you, why did you do the video in the first place? I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. When Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. Well, see, that's the thing. I wasn't putting it out there, to be real. I was 
that was a clip from a video of me recording an unboxing video in my truck that's on my YouTube channel. That's just the clip that I posted because I thought it was funny with the sound and my dog knocking my stand over. That was just, I didn't even think about the ankle monitor at all because I have other videos where you can see me with the ankle monitor on, even on my YouTube. So it's just like, for them to, to take that one video and want to run with that one video blew me. Because I'm just like, I don't understand why I didn't say nothing on that video or this video or that video. But everybody only wanted to comment on, oh, you can't be a real truck driver if you keep your nails done and your nails are that long or if you're wearing that type of outfit. I'm like, what the heck? I had people coming into the truck stop with the same with actual house arrest braces on, talking about some, hey, we're twins. I'm like, hey, no, we're not. This is something whole, totally different. You a criminal. I'm not a criminal. All right. All right. That's what's up. And I, and, and I do wonder, Cash Barbie, them nails was rocking, mm -hmm. man. How... How 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 is you rocking them nails in the gloves? Well, I would normally without nails, I would normally get a size large. With my nails, I get extra large, so I don't have to worry about my nails breaking. I I didn't break nails on the road. It was it was easy. I didn't do nothing but open doors, back up, pull out, drop trailers, and I wasn't unloading or loading anything. So it was nothing really for me to be doing that was gonna have me breaking my nails. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, you know, TikTok. The algorithm, <laughs> you know, TikTok, TikTok will blow up anything. You 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 yeah. put something out there, and you know you you got you got a whole bunch of you know you got a whole bunch of people, drivers, non-drivers, old, young. You know, once once they once once they get their eyes set on the video, they'll they'll pump that algorithm for you. You know, so I'm not yeah. sure how many how many views you got on that, but. But yeah. Too many. <laughs> you say too many. <laughs> That's one of my first videos that blew up. You say too Between many. Between that video and me sitting in there having my boobs out, those videos blew up. <laughs> That's I what's don't up. understand. That's what's up. All right. So uh family situation. That's why you're not you you're not driving now. Like what are uh, what what are what are you doing uh in a place of driving? Um well, none. I'm just maintaining all my stuff right now. I'm studying, not really studying, but I'm going to go get some, um, I'm going to go get my tankers and I'm going to get my double and triple endorsement. Because right. I got a company that I'm thinking about working for. Well, not a company, but uh, owner operator. All right. What about, uh, what about your hazmat? You, you thinking about getting that or are you holding up on that? I don't really know. Cause that just makes me nervous when it comes to like smoking and stuff. And I ain't got time for that. All right. That's what's up. Well, Cash Barbie, thank you again for coming on. I really do appreciate it. Awesome conversation, man. Awesome conversation. Thank you. Big G's got it locked.